Hey guys, welcome back. This is Squiggs here, and uh, I want to show you the. Well, I'm considering my final version of uh, this game. So, uh, of not this game, but. Look at my spaceship. Isn't it so nifty? A little fleet. Alright, let's go to the thing I've been building. Wait a minute, where did it go? some other things I could still tweak with this, but for the time being, this is where I'm going to call it with this, um, with this construction piece. Alright, I mean, look at it from the sky. Look at that, All right, it looks so cool, it's so nifty. There we land. Alright. So, as I showed you on my last walkthrough, um, I have four, uh, landing pads here for anybody in the universe, AI, or you, you know, who wants to land here to get a nice view. Uh-oh. Or just, you know, have a nice experience. So in the middle here, I, uh, created a teleportation point, so you can go from the landing pad straight to the middle of the cavity here. And each one of these rooms, I have color coordinated to the closest of the type of color each plants are, you know. Over here, I got, a. Uh, you know, why don't we just start off with the green. Boom, as soon as we walk in, we have the nip-nip. This is illegal cocaine THC type space stuff here right I call this my green room um or uh, I wanted you to feel just like most of the plants in here would be green right so here we got some venom sack stuff not exactly sure what it does but it's a combination of greenery and vibrant colors or deep red color we have nip nip here we have two refineries each room has two refineries on the right side for whatever purposes you might need Nothing complex, no triple, no large refiner in these rooms. Um, I didn't find anything that I thought would be fit my aesthetic appreciation or style anyways. We have the Aldu, what is this called again? The Abumen Pearl Orbs. Um, Alright, now let's go check out the other room. And over here we have the blue side. No, we'll do the final walkthrough over here. On the, let's go to the red side. So we have some solar vines here, right? To meet the red room vibe. Um, originally, this room was going to be the techno room. But I decided what I would do instead of doing that. Because I really didn't want to spend too much longer doing this. As much as I enjoyed it. But I didn't want to learn a whole new system of uh, music control stuff. So then... In the process of doing that, decide, you know what? I have 12 plants. I have four, um, I guess, garden dormitories. Um, that's not the proper word, but botanical sections. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do three different plants per four sides and three tiers. So I came back, I remodeled the whole thing and added an extra layer to everything. So here you got the red, uh, the red colors to meet the red room. So we got the gut rot flower. Oh, we didn't connect this light. Let's fix that real quick. Are the other lights on? Cool. Alright, so we got the gut rot down here for the red. We got solar vitamins in the middle. And then we have, um, the more right root up here, you know. Get some ambiance to the room and like I said two refineries on the right side of the middle floor and every single one of them I put these nice little guardrails you can just jump in fly out you know add some you know some stuff to it over here we got the yellow room 
we got the gamma weed over here, right? I was thinking about maybe doing something different with the roofs, right? Maybe only have these roofs up here over the plants. Decided not to do it though. So this is kind of like the yellow desert room. The gamma weed obviously has a yellow glow. The cactus up top, desert yellow. Down here we have um, kind of a, a faintish mushroom white glow. Not as strong as the gamma weed, but you know, I figured some ambience would wouldn't be too bad. Just check out the view. All right. And now onto the final one. This is the blue room. You know, we got the. This is the room that started it all. Crazy, because it was only like half the size. So we got the frost crystals right here. The two refineries, as per all the other rooms. We got graviton balls on top. And then we got the star bramble on the bottom. I figured this room would be the brightest room and uh, have like no light in the middle, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Just look, this is so pretty. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I have the space teleporter over here. I had to make a change in this though. Apparently there's a glitch within the system that when you teleport in, you just fall through the floors. So, but the one way you can combat it is by building a room directly underneath it, which is why we have this small balconies to catch you when you teleport in. Um, we got the love chairs here, some whatever this is, some plants here, some beds here with the flying glowing nano cubes in the background, and the beautiful backdrop of a Saturn type planet. All right, not really just about sums it up. Uh, da, 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 da. Then we come back up here. Um, I do have this teleport up here for in case anybody would fall. Really, it was for me because I kept falling through the floors. But as you can see, I, uh, I put some characteristics. I want each thing to have its own little style, right? Um, so, like these little floor hangings with the teleporters, I put like. What, what kind of um, night night roofs on it? I did all this because the, the more and more I was building, I'd come to find out like these would go through the two story things or the one story, so I had to build up a two story type thing. But even with the two stories, um, they were kind of sh poking through a little bit, so then I decided to put those up. Just, you know, a good, nice little contrast, some unique touch, some personal whatever. Uh, but if you ever fall down for whatever reason, um, all you have to do is come down here. Voila, I finally found a use for the pink lights. Come in through here, you teleport up in the middle of the spire, and then boom. I got the pink lights, uh, basically signifying whatever, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, yeah, that's it for my, uh, my hanging gardens is something that um, I rather enjoyed. And like my daughter had told me the other day, if only you put this much time into our real garden, um, we really don't have any. We have some potatoes and some buckets outside. And uh, that's, uh, that's it, man. I am pleasantly surprised with my own creative uh, whatever and actually sticking through with something until I completed it. Just, uh, if you like it, let me know. And, um, take care, everyone. I appreciate you for following me and through all of this long, lasting, long time building. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, I was trying to get a good picture because I want to upload this to Reddit. I want to I see what the... No Man's Sky community says. But again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for experiencing this with me. And I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.